Next question relates to people who uh, may have what we refer to as a prothrombotic uh, blood abnormality or a bit of an imbalance in the blood that may predispose uh, a person to develop blood clots. So these predispositions include what are referred to as the factor V Leiden mutation, the prothrombin gene mutation, and there are other conditions. Uh, I think one of our uh, audience members brought up uh, antiphospholipid antibodies or APLA. So in a person that has one of these uh, sort of blood imbalances, if we can call it that, uh, Eric, but they've never had uh, a blood clot per se. Uh, and if they become exposed to or infected with coronavirus, should they be starting a uh, blood thinner or aspirin? Uh, thanks, Jim. So again, I'll start with the short answer and then expand on this a bit. The short answer would be that we would not routinely recommend that you start a preventative blood thinner or aspirin. Uh, and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about this because this is also an important and common question. So factor V Leiden and prothrombin gene mutation are uh, genetic abnormalities that may increase the risk of a first episode of a vein blood clot. It's important to keep in mind why we test for these and, and how we find out about these abnormalities. Um, we do test for this blood abnormality occasionally in people who have had thrombosis previously or in patients where there is a family history of thrombosis. The other thing I wanted to mention is that some of you may have had some of these uh, commercially available genetic screening panels uh, done to screen for a wide variety of genetic changes, not just related to thrombosis, but for other diseases as well. Um, and you end up with this report showing that you may have one of these mutations without ever having had a deep vein thrombosis or a pulmonary embolism in the past. So again, we're talking about patients or people who have never had a blood clot before who are asymptomatic, who have one of these uh, genetic abnormalities. In these situations, if you've never had a blood clot before and you have factor V Leiden or the prothrombin gene mutation, the risk of thrombosis is still very low. And in most cases, it is not uh, recommended that you start with a preventative blood thinner or aspirin um, because there is a bleeding risk associated with this and we do not have good evidence that there is benefit in these low risk situations. The other thing I wanted to keep in mind is that there are uh, genetic conditions or inherited conditions that are higher risk for thrombosis, higher risk than factor V Leiden and the prothrombin gene mutation, for example. Uh, these are conditions where the decision making may be a bit more nuanced. And uh, in these specific situations, uh, it, you should speak specifically with your, with your um, hematologist or healthcare provider about what to do in those more higher risk situations. Uh, I can also address the question that, uh, that uh, Jim had mentioned before. There was a question about uh, someone who had antiphospholipid antibody syndrome and was already on warfarin therapy, for example, and whether they were at increased risk of having another thrombotic event while on warfarin. At the moment, we would suggest that you continue taking your blood thinner as directed by your physician. Uh, Dr. Young will speak a bit later on about um, strategies for, for improving social distancing uh, in patients who are on Coumadin because that's certainly a challenge. Um, but uh, in general, uh, to answer this question, we would not routinely recommend a preventative blood thinner in these low, lower risk uh, um, hereditary uh, clotting conditions. Thank you very much, uh, Eric.